dramatic new body cam video released by the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office shows a tense exchange of gunfire between an off-duty officer and a robbery suspect. Get on the ground! Just within the past few hours, police released that footage and we've had a chance to go through it. The shootout was in broad daylight yesterday on the west side. An off-duty police officer saw a vehicle matching the description from two armed robberies. The officer then carried out a traffic stop on Line Street near Commonwealth Avenue. News for Jacks reporter Eric Avigny is joining us live with new information about the accused shooter and the passengers. Eric. Yes, police say the shooter uh, fired multiple rounds at Officer Joseph Ledyard. In fact, as many as four, possibly five of those shots hit the officer's cruiser. Now, I want to show you the pictures of the suspects because all three of the people we're talking about, we're talking about 40-year-old uh, Luis Rodriguez, who uh, police say is the one who started the shooting. The other two are identified as Andre Williams and Elizabeth Steele. Uh, they are wanted for, or they are uh, facing charges uh, for armed robbery. Now, now here's a clip of that police body cam footage showing what happened. Get on the ground! Now I want you to look at these photos showing the bullet holes in the officer's cruiser. That just gives you an idea of how intense that situation was. Now Luis Rodriguez got back in his car and drove off, but he was eventually captured while hiding in a dumpster on Picketville Road. News for Jack's crime and safety expert Ken Jefferson says, although Rodriguez faces two counts of armed robberies in this case and possibly charges connected to six other robberies they're currently investigating, he's facing the greatest penalty if convicted in this case alone. But the most important charge that he's got against him um, is attempted murder on a police officer. Because that's the one that could really send him away for decades. That'll send him away for life. He doesn't deserve to be on the street. As for Officer Leagert, he remains on administrative leave while this shooting is under investigation. It's also worth pointing out that this is now the second time in his five-year career with JSO that he has been involved in a police officer shooting. Reporting live from outside JSO headquarters, Eric Avigny, Channel 4, The Local Station.